The giant panda has been an enduring symbol of conservation around the world. These black and white bears live on the mountainous edge of western China and are considered China's national treasures. Just half a century ago, they faced the threat of extinction due to poaching and development. Today, the panda population is at its highest in China. I'm Anthony Morse, an Asian American visual storyteller. My job takes me around the world uncovering new places and experiences. I've come to Chengdu, cradle of the giant pandas, to discover how the relentless commitment of a team is springing new hope in panda conservation. It is pandemonium here, as all these people are here to check out this iconic creature. I'm headed to China's panda breeding base to find out how this iconic animal was rescued from the brink of extinction. Giant pandas are notoriously hard to breed. Female pandas are only fertile for two to three days once a year in spring, and each pregnancy usually results in only one or two cubs. The team at the Chengdu Research Base of Giant Panda Breeding has found a way to overcome nature by breeding them in unprecedented numbers. As of November 2019, after 30 years of research and development, the base has successfully bred 206 cubs. Hi, Harry. Hi. Hi, I'm Anthony. Yeah, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I hear you're the panda breeding expert. We're Harry Wang is an associate researcher with the Laboratory of Conservation Biology for Endangered Animals. We collecting the sperm uh -huh. and uh, after check the quality, checking the quality, and uh, uh, we keep the uh, best sperm here. Really? For the, yeah. How many years ago do you have like sperm from? Uh, Thirty years ago. Is this the world's largest uh, panda sperm bank? Oh, yes. Okay because we collect all of the male's giant panda sperm here and keep it. Uh, one is for the artificial insemination and uh, uh, another part for the research. Wang always harbored dreams of working with giant pandas. The opportunity of a lifetime came up in 2008 and Harry joined the research team in Chengdu. He honed his skills and was finally given the chance to inseminate a panda in 2013. This successful experience boosted Wang's confidence. Since then, he has skillfully mastered the insemination process and has been trusted with major assignments at home and abroad. In 2017, he was assigned to artificially inseminate giant panda Huan Huan in France. The entire country was anticipating the birth of their first panda cub, and Harry had to deliver. And when she finally gave birth, how did that make you feel? With the help of technology, dedicated scientists like Wang have helped save giant pandas from the brink of extinction. Breeding and birthing panda babies is just the beginning. Equally or even more important is ensuring the survival of these cubs born at 1,900 of their mother's size. And this is Duan Dong Chong's area of expertise. 
宝宝今天有五十九天了，然后是一只雄性的宝宝，嗯，现在有三千克了，长得还是挺健康的，就是刚出生的时候像小老鼠一样的粉红色的，那时候大家二十四小时的照顾他们。那时候，因为妈妈的奶不多，所以那时候真的每天都在想，这怎么办呀？每天都希望给妈妈多点营养，希望妈妈多分泌一点乳汁。那时候我们也是，啊、呃，什么什么办法都想，好吃的、好喝的全部给妈妈了。现在还好，妈妈的乳汁还还可以，他们两个长得现在都还是挺健康的。这是双胞胎其中的一只。Known for her dedication and love for these fur babies, Keeper Duan is affectionately known as Panda Mama. It is a well-deserved title. Duan joined the team as an intern after graduating from a veterinary program and had to learn everything from scratch. It was a tiring job, having to constantly walk around these football-sized pens, feed and clean up after these giant creatures. Duan thought about giving up. But she told herself to press on and take it one step at a time. That was now 20 years ago, and she has never looked back. All right, getting all suited up, and it looks like sanitation is very important. So we want to go into the sterile environment. Is that all right? For now. 我们每天投喂的竹笋有一百公斤左右，但是因为每个猫的那个它的浪费程度不一样，所以呃我们每天投喂它们那么多，但实际上它不会吃那么多进到肚子里的。To most people, it'd be hard to tell these roly-poly black-white bears apart, but for Duan. Each one has its unique characteristic and personality. Ah, hello. How are you doing? So, is this your special panda? This is a big panda called Loba. It is from abroad. But this panda is a female panda. Her personality is more gentle and warm. It is more likely to eat well and eat well. It is not wasteful. But the important thing is that it is very gentle. 关键的是，因为他性格好，所以特别是在那种发情期的时候，我们就不是那种特别紧张，怕他去呃伤害那个雌性大熊猫。Her bond with the giant pandas is evident through their interactions, a level of trust that can only be nurtured over the years through patience and dedication. A meticulous caretaker, Duan has developed a system on how to nurse the babies while ensuring the mothers get enough rest to stay healthy for their cubs. 你好子，你家孙子是很很新鲜吗？新不新鲜嘛？吃了我们就出去抓去了，那没？外面有很多花花多生子。Always keen to expand her knowledge and advance her skill set, Duan pursued a zoology degree at the Sichuan Agricultural University while working full time at the base. In 2017, Duan was asked to join her colleague Wang in France to tend Huan Huan's first cub. To Duan, this request was a validation of her efforts and hard work over all these years. She was entrusted with the major task of caring for this panda baby under international spotlight. 因为欢欢是第一次产子，然后对方呢，在这个育幼啊，或者是接生这一块没有多少经验，所以啊，我去帮助他们，嗯，做这个育幼工作，或者是这个接生的工作。国外的话，嗯、呃，语言也不通，然后就两个同事，就我和另外一个同事在那边。很真的，那时候感觉哈，精神压力特别大，特别害怕完成完成不了工作，把这个工作做不好，感觉就辜负了啊、呃、领导或同事对我们的信任。To make matters worse, at one point, both Huan Huan and her baby stopped eating. 我们有一个礼拜。一个礼拜没有离开熊猫馆，就吃住全在熊猫馆，而且也没有没有说去洗呃洗过澡啊之类的都没有。就因为宝宝这种特殊情况哈，你就没有食欲，不想吃饭，不想睡觉，就到那种程度了。
Fortunately, Juan Juan recovered her appetite 10 days later and was able to start nursing her cub. To Duan, these pandas are just like her own flesh and blood. The conservation of the giant pandas is not only a mark of success for China's breeding programs, but also shows their greater commitment to the global environment and biodiversity. The scientists and caretakers here at the Chengdu Panda Base are the unsung heroes behind this admirable effort. They bravely embrace challenges, and when there are no easy answers, they work to find solutions on their own. Individuals like Wang and Duan might see what they are doing as simply doing their jobs, but they have shown us how with determination, courage, and passion, they can create something extraordinary.